I love myself too much because I'm so courageous and wanting to see what today will bring me. I'll admit, I'm not good with words, but I can dance it out for you. My mother's hands. When my mother died, in the very moments after she took her last breaths, I suddenly became obsessed with her hands. I guess it struck me just so completely that I would never again see her hands, feel her hands. This was it. It was over. The time was only now. I started taking pictures of her hands, her hand in mine, noticing how similar our hands are and how uniquely ours. These hands are like this, exactly like this. These hands are like this for a reason. These hands are like this for many reasons, for hundreds and thousands and millions of reasons, because of uncountable causes leading to uncountable effects. These hands are like this because of the ones that came before, and that came before those ones, and that came before those ones that came before the ones that came before, reaching back beyond imagining. These hands started taking shape for time itself. And they're still taking shape, many shapes, overlapping, intersecting, spilling over shapes. It's all those stories and how they braid together that tells us who and what and where we are. Taking a handful of coarse, unruly strands and attempting to bring them unity. Intersecting points and lines bring us together like graph paper.
Monty, who are you? Well, because as an Aries, you're going to see a trail of fire wherever I walk. The land that I come from is the land of Cuba, one I hold near and dear to my heart. Although the tribe I am with is that of a lone wolf, I feel that although wolves travel in packs, I am alone, lost, but still looking for my path, my path to go back onto. So, who are you? Well, I'm someone who has never been happy with the name that was he was given at birth. So, over the years, I've been many different people, but over time, I found out that I'm all these people, and I take pride in every identity that I claim. I, for starters, am the Prince of Slytherin House, Expecto Patronum. G, can you please represent me? I would love to. Um, yeah, the question is, who am I? What am I? And how can I, how did I come to existence? We, for, I never really thought of those questions. Now that I have, I can answer in the best of light. I... Well, I'm no one actually. I'm yet at the same time, I'm everyone. Raquel, who are you? Hello, hola, I'm Raquel. I'm living in the absurd, accepting the randomness and welcoming the notion of nothing. Hi, I'm Jade. I come from a tropical tribe. I let the waters guide me and sometimes I don't know where I'm going exactly. And I always find myself to get too comfortable when the waves are calm. But as but I'm always never prepared for when the storm comes my way. And is that how it's always going to be? Crazy waves? Are there going to be times where I could just swim, find my way, blossom into the beautiful rose that I know I am? Raven, who are you? Who am I? I'm a breaker of cycles. But the boxes hurt. So I smashed them into a million pieces and set them on fire. Now, I am simply me. Queer. Non-binary. Fat. Pushing 50, yet still a professional dancer. And why should they be surprised anyway that I break all the boundaries that I do? Our ancestors all came from places traversing boundaries. Sometimes they cross the boundaries, sometimes even vast oceans. When we are gone, they will remain. Wind and rock and fire and rain. They will remain when we return. Wind will blow and fire will burn. Marley, who are you? Would you like to do your snake dance for us? <laughs> <laughs> 